What's up, Harrods? My name is Jason. Welcome back to What Up Pokemon. And today we have a huge unboxing. We have a Jirachi GX collection box. Now this is a new product that just came out, and it's uh it's pretty big for the for how many packs come in it? What is it? Ten packs? And the packaging is super huge. Let me let me show you. There you go. As you can see, it's freaking huge, man. It barely barely fits on my table. My goodness. Uh, actually, let's do a comparison. I have. We're gonna be opening up this later too. A Kanto power box. And as you can see, the Jiraji is still up here. And I, I'm, I'm not even gonna carry it. That's too big. It's just, it's bigger. Take take it. Take my word for it. It's huge. But what comes in this that's pretty decent is that you have Ultra Prism in here. Ultra Prism is going up in price. It does have the cool. Uh, what which one is it? Um, the Necrozma and Solgaleo. Um, so Galio, Necrozma, and Lunala like fusion things going on. We also get a pack of evolutions. That's huge right now. We got Fates Collide, Sun and Moon. Fates Collide, I believe, is the one that has Lugia in it. Uh, base Sun and Moon. We have two packs of that. And we have Breakpoint. I do like Breakpoint. I do like Mega Scizor in it and the other Pokemon. But let's go ahead. Let's open it up. All right, so we have everything out. We have, that was pretty big. Uh, we have a Pikachu here, pause. We have a Shaman for our other coin. And I think this is just a, a, like a grab bag of products that they still had at the Pokemon um, company for their uh, cards. Here we have a Jirachi full art. And this is a alternate art. You see down there, a Unified Minds. 79A of 236. So this is Unified Minds and an alternate art. And then we have two other promos here. We have Decidueye. It is the Black Star promo of Sun and Moon 55. So this was somewhere last year in another product. And then we have a Lucario, which is a Sun and Moon 54. Which actually, maybe if I find the product, I'll put it up on the screen. But those are from a different product from Sun and Moon. And they just repackaged it in Jirachi GX box. And here are some packs here. We have, again, Ultra Prism. We have two. We have Sun and Moon Evolutions. I'll probably open up that one last. We have Fates Collide and Breakpoint. Fates Collide with the Lugia in it. Is it? It's Fates Collide. I think that's the one with Lugia. If not, it's probably the Steam Siege. Um, we have another Ultra Prism. So three Ultra Prisms. Breakpoint and two base Sun and Moons. So we'll probably start off with Breakpoint. Oh, actually three Sun and Moon base. We'll do Breakpoint. Um... Actually, let's do these first. Let's do X and Y first, except for evolutions. And here is the code card for the Jirachi GX collection, if you want the Jirachi. It's not a bad card. It was viable in the TCG uh, when it first came out. Now people use other cards because there's better cards. But let's start off. Steam Siege, X and Y. Don't remember what big card is in here. This is... Hmm. I'm trying to think. I think this is just the Volcanian one. Here's a code card. One, two, three. We start off with Halucha, Lampint, Captivating Pokepuff, Fungus, Joltik, we have a Litwick, Ponyta, Meryl, Reverse is a Drifloon, and our rare is a Galvantula. I remember now, this was the set that had the dual typing. These were really fun. Wish they would bring them back. So it's an electric and a grass, so it could attack uh, normal flying types and water types along with some rocks. So although it is weak to rock, it is also effective against them. Some of them. Next, we get into Breakpoint. Now, this might be the one that has Lugia in it. Not Fates Collide. Fates Collide has um, the Alakazams. Really cool cards. But here we go, code. One, two, three. Start off with a Potion. Palpitoad. Luxio. Trubbish. We have a Tim Pool. Seedot. Shouter. Chikorita. Reverse is a Clefairy, and our rare is a Pangoro. So, striking out on two packs. 
Now we get into Fates Collide, hoping maybe to pull an Alakazam from this one. Those are really cool artworks. Uh, the full art is really nice. But here we go. Oh, it's a white co card. So if you still get Fates Collide, there you go. So it looks like we're going to have something in here. One, two, three. Starting off with a Sin Sinchino, Helix, Fossil, Wiggly Tough, Snivy. We have a Diglett, Seal, Fennekin. Ooh, that actually goes. Hold on. So we have Fennekin and Chikorita now. Fates Collide came out before Breakpoint, I believe. And then as you can see here, or maybe Breakpoint the other way around, but we have Chikorita and Fennekin and this one looking through a portal. And then we have Chikorita and Fennekin going through the city, which Chikorita is looking through. Pretty cool. That's always cool when the Pokemon uh, company made some storylines like that with cards. But we have a Carbink, Reverse Coughing, and oh, a Hollow Mew. I would take that. That is a nice Hollow. I set you up back there. All right, so next up, going into Sun and Moon Base. Again, the biggest cards in here are the Rainbow Rare Espeon and uh, Umbreon, and also probably the Gold Energies. I think it's the Gold Fairy Energy is in here as well. So let's see what we have. Starting off with Code Card. One, two, three, four. Sun and Moon has four. X and Y is three. We have Electric, Golbat, Trumbeak, Potion, Meowth, Dewpider. We have a Lolan Diglett, Marini, Crab Brawler, Reverse is a Palo Sand, and we got another Palo Sand. All right, nothing in that one. Next, Sun and Moon. Come on, give me the Umbreon. I'd like to pull one of those. One, two, three, four. Starting off with a Steel, Brion, Croc Rock, we have an XP Share, Psyduck, Spiro, River Dratini, Cutie Fly, Chin Chow, Rare Candy Reverse, and a Cloyster. Wow, this uh, the hits in this box are not coming. There are no hits so far. Just the Mew. All right, last Sun and Moon base. Can we get something out of this one? One, two, three, four. The way things are going, probably not. Fighting. We have a Charge Bug. Rainbow Energy, Croc Rock, Snubble, Makuhita, Cutie Fly, Drowsy, pretty cool. Rollet, Reverse Nest Ball, which was a very good trainer in the beginning of uh, Sun and Moon. And a Primarina Non Hollow. All right, down to our final four packs three Ultras, one Evolutions. Maybe all the hits are in here. It'll be insane if we pull a Charizard from that Evolution. All right, next one, code. One, two, three, four. Now with Ultra Prism, uh, you can get a Prism card from the Reverse Hollow spot. So if we don't get anything from the Rare spot, we can get something from the Reverse Hollow. Uh, we have Fairy Energy, Looker, Yanmega, Palpad, Weasel, Magnemite, Execute, Shinx, Hassimian, Reverse Wash Rotom, and a Drapion, so that one had nothing in it. Next one. Now, I think the big old Prism card in here... I can't remember it. I know that there was a Giratina Prism. That one was pretty good. I think maybe the Celebi Prism was probably the best one in here. Don't quote me on that, but we'll see if we can pull one. One, two, three, four. We have a Steel Energy, Electric Memory, Turtonator, Mount Coronet, Gibble, Dewpider, we have a Stunky, Turtwig, Electabuzz, and Reverse Yangoose, and a Hippowdon. Wow, we've only pulled one hollow. There's 10 packs here. Only one hollow out of eight packs so far. Like I said, this is a grab bag of probably extra packs that the Pokemon Company has laying around. So this might not be a buy. This definitely might not be a buy. All right, code card, one, two, three, four. We have a Brass, Unit Energy, those are fun, Printplup. We have an Orangor, Buneri, Hippopotas, Passimian, Shinx, Carnivine, Reverse Grotto, and the Lowland Sandslash. Nine packs, one hit. 
I would not recommend you buying this. I am opening it so you guys can see if this is good or not. And it doesn't seem like good. I mean, you could pull something maybe out of it. But for the value, I mean, if you're just collecting packs, maybe it is. Ultra Prism's going up. So opening it, probably do not recommend. But we have our final pack here, which is a Evolutions pack. And right off the rip, we have a Charmander. So maybe that is something. We have a code card here. One, two, three. Let's see what we have. We start off with a Brock's Grit. Professor Oak's Hint. Metapod. Charmander, which is probably maybe the best pull from this so far. Uh, a Diglett. Ghastly. Caterpie. Drowsy. I think this is the reverse. And a reverse Pikachu. Okay, that's not too bad. With a huge ass print line there. Big ol' scratch, and a Doug Trio. So all in all, this was a terrible box. But I opened it so you guys could see, and you guys could choose for yourself whether you want to open it or not. If you do decide to open it, let me know if you are gonna get it, or if you're not, because honestly, I don't think this is a good buy. But these two were probably the best pulls. Maybe the Mewtwo. But 10 packs, one hollow, terrible, terrible. Bad luck. Uh, hopefully this luck goes away and vivid voltage I get good luck. But until next time, power ups. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to catch more, and I'll see you later. Bye.